The supply curve, remember, is the sum of the marginal cost curves of the firms in the perfectly competitive industry. So marginal cost is what reflects the cost to the firm of producing any given unit of output. But it's also the cost to society of producing that unit of output because the cost to the firm is equal to the cost of the resources used and the resources have an opportunity cost. So we can say marginal private cost, the cost to the firm, is the same as marginal social cost, the cost to society of each unit of output. But now look at the demand curve. We've seen that the demand curve reflects marginal utility to consumers. Each level of output has a value to society, and that value is its marginal benefit, and that's what the demand curve shows us. So we know the value of each unit of output to society because we know the value of that output to the individual that purchases it. So the demand curve reflects marginal utility, it reflects marginal private benefit, but it also reflects marginal social benefit. So if we leave this market to itself, producers and consumers will think only of the private benefits and the private costs. That means that the level of output we'll get is Q0 and P0. That's the level of output where consumers are willing to pay all that producers are willing to produce. Marginal private benefit equals marginal private cost. But what we want as a society is to produce all the output where the benefit to society is at least as great as the opportunity cost to society. What then would be the optimum level of output? Well, marginal social benefit equals marginal social cost at Q0 with a price at P0. So what is best for society is what is best for individuals. But in order to arrive at that conclusion, we needed to make two crucial assumptions. We needed to assume that private costs is the same as social costs. And we needed to assume that private benefits is the same as social benefits. The assumptions we needed to make to show that markets are efficient don't always hold. One problem is the problem of externalities. Externalities can be positive or negative. And we'll explain what these are, and then you'll be able to see why these are such a problem for markets.